Today's project, modifying my composting toilet. Got to do some tweaks. Today, I'm outside of Salida, Colorado in the National Forest, camping here for about a week with some friends. And today, I'm going to be modifying my composting toilet. I built this composting toilet, oh, probably six or eight months ago. And it's pretty basic. It slides underneath a shelving unit and it has a hinge lid here that opens up with a bucket inside. But I do not have a diverter for the urine. So today I want to try to modify this a bit and add that. I think I'm going to rebuild the entire top of this and change the orientation 90 degrees so when it slides out uh, I'm going to be seated facing the front of the step van versus right now I'm facing the other shelving unit and so the space in front of here for my legs and feet is sort of limited. So if I rotate it 90 degrees I'll be facing in the aisleway towards the kitchen area so I think that'll be much better. So in order to do that I need to remove this top piece here. I think I'm also not going to use these cutouts. Originally I made this cutout here for a roll of toilet paper and this cutout was for a coffee can that I was going to put sawdust in. But I think I'm going to forego that and go with a different design. I have a new top cut for it. It's perfect size. Just need to figure out the hinge system and then figure out where I'm going to place the seat and all the components underneath. So this is the part that I need to do some strategy and engineering. This is what I came up with. The bucket fits in here. Then over here you can see a clear pee jug. And then back here is going to be a box to hold my composting material, whether that's going to be sawdust or some sort of peat moss or something else. But right now I'm just using wood chips, so that's going to go into that large container there, so I have a place to hold that. And uh, then I just need to get the top lid and line everything up on top of the bucket. I'm going to have a funnel system that goes into the pea jug over here. This is the jug that I'm going to be using for my urine, for the pee jug. It's not exactly the best thing because of the spigot on it, but it's a narrow profile and fits into that space fairly well so that I can make everything fit. Eventually I think I'm going to just try to find a, a plug or seal this bottom thing where the spigot is and just use the top here. Now I get to play with one of my favorite power tools the pancake air compressor and my brad nail gun. I absolutely love this thing. The brad nail gun was a gift from my brother-in-law, Merrill, and then I purchased the pancake compressor from Harbor Freight on sale, $40. Can't go wrong with that. I just love this setup. This is the pancake compressor here that I purchased. Over here is the brad nail gun that I love using and my collection of the nails. Apparently I have sprung a leak in my air compressor system. I think it's in the hose. Over here I can hear a little hissing noise coming out. Whoop, it must be right here. Right there. Yep, that's it, right here. Huh. Well, it looks like I'll be getting a new hose at some point or use some duct tape and see if I can patch that. I'm making considerable progress with my composting toilet. Let me show you. I have the new toilet seat attached here and I have a funnel mechanism there for the urine separator and then the bucket will go down in the main area. The only thing left that I have to do is to attach the hinge on the back so that this whole thing can open up and then over here on this far side I have a hand here that will be used for putting in all of my uh, material, the raw material, whatever I'm using, sawdust or peat moss or cat litter or any of those other options out there that you can use for a composting toilet. All right, my project today is finished. I've got the hinge on the back over here and everything is set up. I think I'll be good to go. I'll have to report back later and let you know if this thing is actually functional. I don't think I'm going to be doing a demo for you. Here's the hinge section here. You can see it opens up and inside I have the plastic bucket. Over here on the right I have an empty box that I'll be able to put all of my uh, material in that I'm going to be able to use. And then I have this uh, funnel system here that goes down into there. I'm going to get that fixed just a little bit better, but once, once you close this door... Anyway, that is my composting toilet setup that I've built myself, DIY. 
and uh, you can of course make your own. This slides in underneath a cabinet inside of my step van out of the way and then when I need it I just pull it out. That's all I have for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Savor the moment and I'll see you in the next episode.